This is me, Prometheus Jasinski. 41 years old, 1 meter 91 tall and I weigh 95 kilograms. I'm driving motorcycles since I'm 18 years old and 4 years ago I started commuting with electric scooters, since going by train or bus would take more than 3 hours a day to get to my work. I bought my new NGT 2 years ago when it was launched. The advertisement looked promising. Made for your trust. We invest in best materials and technologies for safety and durability. Widely sealed key components consist of waterproof components with automobile quality. Best preparation for rain and snow. As a registered new user, I'm even getting messages encouraging to ride through the winter. So let's see how this goes. I am commuting 60 km a day, about 80% of the distance on a highway. Going by side roads would cost me an additional 30 minutes which I simply want to invest in my family time. I am driving at any condition since in my region most of the time it is barely freezing. But if it does, then anyhow traffic collapses and I am happy to be on two wheels. Before somebody asks, yes, it would be nice to go faster than 75 km an hour. But you get used to it being the slowest on the road. And somebody has to be the slowest. In the past two years I heard only two complaints by drivers. Others do not really seem to care. The headlights are okay, but could be better. Driving at night is not a problem. There is almost no reason for me not to ride the scooter, unless it is broken. The first generation of forks is very weak. I had to make an emergency stop like the one shown here and this led to a significant deformation of the fork. The first fork needed to be replaced after 10 months of riding and the replacement fork took more than 3 weeks. The second incident of that kind, again induced by a car which cut my road, required a second replacement. Due to the unfortunate closure of my dealer, difficulties to find another dealer willing to take over the issue during Corona times and additional lead time of a new and better fork, I was forced to commute by car for 3 months. The new fork, which I'm driving since about 2000 km is now stronger, but I did not have the chance to stress it yet. However, protection against corrosion in winter seems to be even worse than with the previous fork and I'm not sure if this might become a security issue at some point. Up to now I made nearly 13,000 km. Before Corona and the mechanical failures I made in the first year 10,000 km. I am charging my scooter at the office and I am arriving at home with a capacity of about 70%. I stored in the batteries overnight at home so that I do not have issues with cold weather. One ride to the office and back takes 2 kWh through the wall plug. A car would need at least 5 times the amount of energy. Typically, the capacity does not fall below 30% despite having a displayed health status of 85 of 100 points, I did not measure any significant drop in capacity yet. From experience with the previous scooter, I expect anyhow a significant degeneration only after 30,000 km. So let's see how my scooter performs after almost 2 years and 13,000 km. The display is looking good, no issues here. The handlebar color starts to become lighter and the aluminum cramp shows some corrosion under the painting. I like that they used stainless steel screws here. At some point I had a bad contact on the right handle brake switch and I could not start the scooter. It seems like it dried out and the contact became good again. I would like to have it replaced, but I understand that the dealer will do nothing when he does not witness the issue by himself. Also the seat is looking good to my mind. The handlebars are made from plastic and apart from some scratches, no issue here. I've got one of the first solutions for the bigger license plates in Germany. The screws are too weak for it and the dealer was so kind to apply an additional support. The original luggage hook was a bad design. Too weak to hold anything in place and I replaced it by a metal solution of my own. The side stand was very unstable and the scooter tends to fall over. This was fixed by applying a stainless steel washer at the joint and by cutting away some material. Now the stand opens wider and closes firmly. The stock solution is a big problem for quicker riders in roundabouts where the side stand is scratching the road. The brakes are totally ok for occasional braking. They tend to strong fading when descending steep curvy hills, especially when loading the scooter with two persons. 
Then braking becomes an issue. It is a pity that there is no aftermarket for those, so you need to buy the stock material from new. I did not replace them yet, but soon I will need to. You may notice that new uses here higher grade brake hoses, which have less expansion and need no replacement as compared to traditional cheap rubber hoses. When I needed to tighten the bearing of the fork, since it became loose, I noticed that the rubber hose is bent strongly in the region of the CPS distribution valve. I'm not sure if this may become a safety issue since the bend is moving when tilting the steering. I told the dealer, but it remained unnoticed. The front rims are looking good. I had to replace the tires at 10,000 km. The stock tires are fine, but I can highly recommend changing to better tires like those Michelin City Grip. The maintenance instructions require to change the bearings every 6,000 km. No dealer could explain me why and information by the distribution gives also no satisfying explanation for that. After 13,000 km they are still fine. The rear suspension is flawless and the corrosion is fine, I would say. However, the aluminum swing does not like the weather conditions at all. I noticed already after the first winter and only 8,000 km how the painting was falling off. I was lucky to be able to talk personally to the distributor KSR and the wear off is expected. So if you are riding like me through rain and winter time, unfortunately you will have to expect that kind of delamination and corrosion. I have to say that I'm happy with the performance of the electrical parts and most of the frame parts are okay. Brakes in principle I like and the plastic parts are anyhow not an issue. The fork and the rear swing should be improved in terms of corrosion and the top speed should be improved to 90 km an hour. Then I would be happy with the performance of that scooter. To give you some background on my experience and what I'm comparing to, I was riding a 1 kW UNO scooter for less than half the price of the NEO for the same period of almost 2 years and distance of 30,000 km before the NEO was released and I immediately bought one. Before that I made 50,000 km mostly on long rides with two bigger bikes. And yet, I'm enjoying every single second on my quiet electric scooter. So if you want to buy one, I can recommend this scooter unless you want to use it in rain and snow as I do. Then corrosion will destroy your scooter if you do not wash it frequently and store it in a dry place like a warm garage.